Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on AWS databases. My name is Muskana Gormley. I am a senior database specialist solution architect at AWS. If you heard about Amazon RDS custom for SQL Server, but you're not sure what the use cases are or what problem it solves, you've come to the right place. This is a multi-part video on RDS custom for SQL Server. And this is the first part in our series. Please check out upcoming videos for additional information and additional uh, demos on RDS Custom for SQL Server. All right, let's get started. We will be covering a lot of information in this series, but here is the agenda for the first video. We will start with a quick introduction to RDS Custom for SQL Server and discuss the different use cases and features of this new RDS service. We will also talk how RDS Custom compares to RDS, so you can figure out which service would be the most appropriate for your workload. We will look at the feature overview and then finish by discussing the technical overview for RDS Custom for SQL Server. Check out the upcoming video in this series for a demo on how you create and uh, connect with Amazon RDS Custom for SQL Server. So RDS Custom is a managed database service released in October last year or 2021. It is specifically designed for legacy, custom, and packaged applications that require access to the underlying OS and the database environment. RDS Custom for SQL Server automates the database administration task and operation while making it possible for you to access the database and underlying operating system so you can make customizations based on your needs. RDS Custom provisions all AWS resources in the customer's AWS account, allowing full control and full access to the underlying EC2 resources hosting your databases. Uh, you can install third-party and package application directly onto these database instances as you would in a self-managed environment while still benefiting from the automation that Amazon RDS traditionally provides. So let's discuss why we launched Amazon RDS Custom. Customer feedback is one of the primary reasons for launching this service. Customers told us, they want to migrate to a managed service, but at the same time, they need granular access to the underlying operating system and the database server. Uh, most of these cases are required when installing legacy or packaged applications. Or sometimes they just need to have more control over the database to enable features that require sysadmin access to the SQL Server instance, or to use a specific feature that is currently not supported on RDS. Therefore, we launched RDS Custom to support such use cases that customers are asking for. RDS Custom for SQL Server addresses the challenges of database and application customization within a managed service by providing you with granular control over the operating system in the database environment. One common use case is when customers need granular control over OS and the database. For instance, Having full operating system access to install custom driver or enabling a specific database feature, working with applications that require elevated access like sysadmin. The other use case is migrating database and business applications with lift and shift method. RDS Custom is great if you want to migrate your databases to a managed service without the need to make any changes. Some business applications like Microsoft SharePoint and Microsoft Dynamics require elevated access. And in some cases, these applications require libraries to be installed at the OS level on the database instance. Another use case is disaster recovery. When you need to customize your DR solution to meet your specific business requirement, for example, suppose you want to a DR strategy where you have your primary SQL Server running on-prem and you would like to set up a DR on AWS using RDS Custom. In that case, you can simply extend your existing availability group from your on-premises to RDS Custom. 
This slide shows the different options to deploy SQL Server workload on AWS. The first box shows your on-premises deployment where you are responsible for everything from the hardware level to the app optimization. The second box is a self-managed environment on EC2 where AWS is responsible for the hardware and OS installation, but everything else is what you will manage. The last two are managed database services where AWS handles all the fundamental operations, freeing you from the undifferentiated heavy lifting of managing databases. RDS provides a fully managed experience where AWS manages the entire database and operating system. As you can see here, RDS Custom fits right between running your workload on Amazon EC2 and RDS. With RDS Custom, AWS manages most of this operation, but there are some shared responsibilities. With RDS Custom, you get automation of Amazon RDS and the flexibility that you will get uh, from Amazon EC2. By taking on additional database management responsibilities beyond what you would in RDS, you can benefit from the Amazon RDS automation and the customization that EC2 offers. Now, let's talk about this shared responsibility model. As you can see, the high availability and backup are shared responsibilities. Unlike the RDS, where high availability is fully managed by AWS, RDS Custom requires customers to set up HA using always on availability group. As for the backups, we offer automated nightly backup and transaction log backups. However, the point in time restore only supports up to 100 databases. So you will have to uh, plan a DR strategy for databases beyond 100. So that's what shared responsibility means. In this shared responsibility model, you get more control than Amazon RDS, but also more responsibility. Now, let's zoom in a little bit and compare RDS and RDS Custom to better understand when to choose one over the other. We have Amazon RDS for SQL Server on the left side, and uh, you might be already familiar with RDS. It is a fully managed service where AWS takes care of all the heavy lifting, so you can spend more time on high value tasks like database tuning and optimization. On the right hand side, we have RDS Custom, which is about having more control over the OS as well as the uh, database. This enables you to customize the environment for your application or database workload uh, when required. Because you are getting this admin access to the DB and OS in RDS Custom, there are no option group or parameter group like the regular RDS. You can make all the changes that you need directly on the database instance, like enabling TDE and SSL encryption. Also, uh, there are no wrapper functions or RDS specific store procedure. Usually you will need those store procedures when you need to perform certain administrative tasks in RDS, like taking back up to S3 or uh, restoring from S3. Again, there is no need uh, for them in RDS Custom because you have admin access to the OS and database, so you can use native SQL Server capabilities to perform such tasks. So which one should you use? Well, um, you should consider RDS first because RDS is a fully managed and mature service that gives you the most consistent experience. Again, um, if you need the entire database and operating system fully managed by AWS, we recommend Amazon RDS. But if you need administrative right to the database and the OS to make dependent application available, uh, or if you are looking for a specific feature that is not supported on RDS, RDS Custom will be the better choice. Here are some of the RDS Custom features at a high level. As mentioned earlier, RDS Custom is a managed database service. At the time of this recording, RDS Custom supports SQL Server 2019 in the Enterprise, Standard, and Web editions. If you need high availability, um, you can set up HA for your uh, database instance using always on availability group. AWS Managed HA is going to be available soon. Currently, RDS Custom is available on M5 and R5 instance types only. 
Our base custom can host up to 5,000 databases and it will provide point in time recovery for up to 100 databases. That is a big jump if you compare that with RDS, which is 100. Like uh, Amazon RDS, uh, RDS Custom for SQL Server is a license included service. Let's look at RDS Custom Architecture for SQL Server. Unlike the traditional RDS where uh, the underlying resources are hidden and managed by AWS, we provision all RDS custom resources in your account. So you can see the database environment, uh, the corresponding EC2 instances and the EBS volumes attached uh, using the AWS console. When you create RDS custom in your account, you would see RDS custom resources prefixed with do not delete RDS custom. Do not delete those resources when you see them. Like Amazon RDS, RDS custom DB instance resides in a virtual private cloud or VPC. RDS custom does not interact directly with the DB instance. Instead, it talks to the other AWS services used to manage the instance. Here are the services shown in this diagram. RDS Custom will launch the automation tool to create your Amazon EC2 instance and all the components that it needs. You have SQL Server instance and RDS Custom agent as a Windows service running in your instance. This agent monitors the database functionality, which is a critical part of the RDS Custom. You also have two EBS volumes. One is a C drive for your root volume and another one is D drive, which holds your data file for your databases. The CloudWatch agent publishes metric and RDS custom agent log and is responsible for displaying any messages you see in the RDS custom console. KMS is used for encrypting RDS custom storage and backups. There's also secret manager that will be used to store your private key information that you use to connect to your EC2 instance. RDS Custom uses Systems Manager extensively. The SSM agent that will be installed on the instance received requests and performs tasks on behalf of the RDS Custom. Lastly, there's Amazon S3 that stores your transaction log backup taken every five minutes. To avoid conflicts between your changes and RDS custom automation, we introduce these new concepts. The first one is automation mode, which controls the automation placed in your RDS custom instance, and it includes monitoring, backups, database status check, and so on. A support parameter is a process that determines if the customer initiated customization of the environment breaks RDS custom automation or not. Let's look at the details of each one of these concepts. RDS custom has automation software that runs outside of your database instance. This software communicates with the agents on the database instance and the external component that make up the RDS custom environment. This automation software has two primary responsibilities. The first one is collecting metrics and sending notification. RDS Custom monitor the recovery feature and functionality to ensure that database performs correctly. The second responsibility is performing automatic instance recovery. If the underlying instance becomes impaired or unreachable for any reason, RDS Custom will try to resolve the problem by rebooting the machine or replacing it. One thing to note is that when RDS Custom replaces your instance, it spins up a new instance and relocates your data drive to the new instance. Suppose you make customization on the server by installing third-party libraries or drivers on your host or um, you join your instance into Active Directory domain. In that case, when the RDS custom replaces the instance, those customizations are lost. So if you need to make those kind of customizations, you will need to make sure that uh, you have automation that can reapply those changes following host replacement. Also, 
store your customization and important files on D drive so they can be preserved. Pausing ensures that your customization does not interfere with RDS custom automation. Uh, similarly, the automation does not affect your changes. An example of this would be if you install an application that requires the database to go offline, then if you don't pause your automation, our automation will pick up that something has gone wrong and it will try everything uh, it can to, to bring the uh, database back online, which may inadvertently roll back some of the changes that you just made. You can pause or resume the RDS custom automation using the AWS console or AWS CLI for up to 24 hours so you can make the necessary changes. The minimum is 60 minutes. When automation is paused, the database status monitoring, uh, storage monitoring, automated backup, and RDS custom agents are among the activities that gets paused with our process. Uh, the screenshot here shows you how you would pause or resume RDS custom automation. You simply modify the instance and change the automation to the desired mode. Finally, the support parameter determines if a customer initiated database or operating system customization interferes or breaks the RDS custom automation. Customization of host and database environment is supported as long as the changes do not put the RDS custom database outside the support parameter. The support parameter checks your environment against the specified requirement. Examples of those checks include if the custom agent is not running, if the SSM agent is not running, or if you manually stop or terminate the EC2 instance, or um, if you create a database outside the RDS managed DBS volume, uh, those are some of the checks. Please check our documentation to learn more uh, what kind of customization breaks the automation. So if any of these requirements are not met, RDS custom consider your instance to be outside of the support parameter and it changes the status of your instance from available to unsupported configuration state. The second image in this slide shows the status that you will see when the instance is placed in unsupported configuration. Let's say that you are doing some customization uh, support parameter checks kicked in and uh, detected that your changes broke the automation. Um, you will notice the message shown in the second screenshot when that happened. Let's say you identify what the issue is uh, using the error log and warnings that you get in uh, your RDS console and you fix the problem, right? When the next check runs again, it will verify that those requirements are now met. If they are met, it's going to place your instance back to the available state. Remember, when the instance is in unsupported configuration state, you cannot make any modification, you cannot take manual snapshot, uh, no automated snapshot will can occur, and also if the underlying EC2 instance is impaired for any reason, RDS custom automation will not be able to replace that instance. So be aware of that. So the best way to avoid customizations from breaking the automation is to create a database snapshot, pause the automation, make the changes that you need, then resume the automation to ensure that the customization that you just made works within the support parameter. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out upcoming videos to learn more.